Ludi. Oh, double L. So I would consider Ludi's win over Meat Beef earlier an upset, which was really good. I can see that, yeah. The last game, like the last moments of it in the last stock on FD. Dude, Ludi was playing so very, very smart. Safe. He was being very smart about it. He was not approaching. He basically just poked him out till he got enough damage to up throw really kill. Did. Real safe. Um, but it's gonna be a little harder to play that type of game against Low One because he's the master. That's the master, the man himself. Low One is the master of like Keep you know away. you know like that. There's a knob and how fast the game can go. Yeah. He has a knob and he can just turn it whenever he wants. Exactly. He 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 can slow the game down. He can't speed it up too fast. He can't you know. SpongeBob at maximum overdrive. Exactly, exactly. But he, he makes the game play at his pace. He really does. That's that's what he does. Oh, when he's when, when he's playing Little Mac, you know that knob. Oh, that yeah. knob has that overdrive. Oh yeah. You know that. Turn it up to 11. Let's go. All right. Starts off as Luigi, uh, respecting the Greninja. <laughs> Good idea because Greninja's way too fast and actually has really good footsies to oppose Little Mac. So yes. he's not going to get away with that easy. Wow. He's, Ooh. he's just sending this Greninja off stage, trying to pressure him. Which, I mean, Greninja has a good enough recovery to where he's going to recover pretty much every time. Oh, yeah. But it gets a lot. Look, he hasn't even taken any damage. All right. Uh, guys, <laughs> got the 2%. The issue here so far is that Ludi's letting low one stay in his zone yeah. until now he's finally uh putting effort to keep him out oh, and to show uh low like hey i got hitboxes so you better be weary you better calm Ooh, down no, he's good. He's there good. we go all right he's good yeah he does do that sometimes so shadow sneak not to the ledge but like either under it or above it yeah and he's got to be careful low one will catch on to that and maybe punish with the back here i'd be afraid that up air sends him forward yeah Ooh. Yeah, you can't pull off those bread and butters on Mario and Luigi. They got wow. that Nair, man. The Nair comes out so fast. Yeah, retreat. sometimes you got to know when to retreat. Well, Ludi's, Ludi's neutral game is really, really strong, but so slow ones. I want to see oh, how yeah. Ludi, will, Ludi will adjust. He needs to learn exactly. while he's playing this, uh, this, man, this man right now. Ooh, good down B approach. That's the third time I've seen him down B approach. It might just be good against Greninja. I saw it clank yeah. with the shirt. It's just overall a really good approach option when you get the right read. Ooh. Yeah. And low one, keeping Ludi out is giving him a really hard time. Uh, at this point, exactly. Low one has got the right idea. All he's need is an up smash. Up uh, smash or a back air. Yeah, Maybe down B near the top. Oh. A B. A B. <laughs> down taunt. <laughs> oh, good. Second jump. Low saving it there, knowing uh, he's useless to air dodge it. Because he will get chased. There's another down B approach from low one. Mm, low one, not letting up this pressure. Oh, there's an and air. And the nair. The nair will do it. Uh, uh oh, slow walk. Slow walk. walk. <laughs> the smooth criminal. <laughs> this is what he does. After the first stock, he starts mm. crawling around, baiting you yeah. and coming in, trying to get because he knows you. He knows you know you're behind, so he's like, "Come get me." Exactly. All right, now Low One's starting to play more of his game. Ooh, but <gasps> if that sure come with a hit, that might have been like wraps, man. Okay. okay. Wow. <laughs> really? No shield. Wow, and he got real thirsty there, trying to go for the down taunt. Yeah, down taunt spike. Get out of here, low. Come on. Don't do my boy Ludi like that. He'll do that to anyone. Yeah, he would. He'd do it to me. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Good chase there, on. but uh, low one was confident enough to just wait it out because he's like, I could air dodge and you won't punish because you're just going to be in your recovery frame with your up smash. Yeah. Oh, they go for good smash. pivot smash. That was great. Ludi finally getting that first stock off of low one, and oh. now low one, one back wow. in control. Here's a chase. The chase is on. Oh. What? <laughs> chase is that? Is that like some sort of? Oh my Whoa. goodness, low! What? Don't you Please. dare! Oh my! He had to mash that real hard. I was gonna say chase. Is that some sort of insurance button? Because we got a gecko. Yeah. <laughs> we got a gecko on stage. Oh. oh back yep, throw. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it reaches a point. Once low one gets that stock lead, he just starts to be pretty silly. Like, honestly, he'll start throwing hitboxes out in dumb ways, like a Super dumb. misfire. 
and all that sort of Chris, stuff. Chris, why you play so dumb? <laughs> it just works. I don't understand. Yeah, well, you know what? One thing that works about him playing dumb is his spacing. His spacing is really, really strong. Another thing about playing dumb is it's hard to be red. One thing I notice <laughs> when you play and you do like awkward things, like instead of ever running, you just constantly walk uh -huh. and like kind of go back and forth. Players are just like, what are you doing? And it kind of throws them off. Low one is the embodiment of that sort of player. He's just like, what, what are you doing? Like, you, what are you, you doing? think you think he's doing unsafe things, but he's doing it on purpose yeah. as a bait. It, and that's, that's, his, that's his game. That's the name of the game for really low one. Be. Oh, but oh. here we go. Uh, feeling confident enough after that first win, he's like, let me just try a little match. And you can tell Ludi. Ludi, this is a little bit of disrespect if Ludi can recognize it. Yeah. Well, Ludi, you can tell, is a matchup based player because right. he literally grabbed him off the bat, threw him off stage. He's like, this is where I want you, little man. Exactly. I don't want to combo you, I want you off stage. Exactly. That's what he should do. That's what he should do. I agree. Waste no effort except taking Little Mac off the stage. That's all you should be focusing on. Because the thing is, yeah. Oh, you want to grab and get. Ooh, good Some double nice down. Yeah. Yeah. Double down air? Are you kidding me? Ooh. Okay, fourth throw. Oh, oh, good look. Did that hit him? What? That was real silly. Oh, oh no! What? Wow. He just got it. And that was like a up. get up ultra. What is this? Street wow. Fighter? Wow. Great KO punch. Oh, my he got goodness. it. Ding, ding. Yeah, because he knew he was going to chase him. So he's like, I'm just going to throw it out. Oh man, Ludi was doing so good. Now yeah, he's got to yeah. close out the stock coming from behind. Down to oh. the forward feet. Oh my god, he's no. all over him now. Oh man. <laughs> Little Mac, he's. Okay, he's seriously. So good. He's legitimately the best character on the ground. Do not ever sleep on him. In fact, oh! Got that was there. so filthy. Good looks. Ludi catching him. But, yeah, never feel like you can challenge Little Mac on the stage. Don't. It's not. Oh, Ooh! that's it. That's it. That's it. Up smash to forward smash? Yeah. Hitting the frog, gecko, whatever. Never, ever have the illusion of feeling comfortable against Little Mac on the ground. In fact, don't even try.